Good morning, Tigers. All right, so the last couple of days you've been working on uh, just the taxes that the king had imposed and whether or not you thought those were fair or unfair. So today what we're going to do is start the Revolutionary War. It's called War Begins. And if you look at our timeline, we're talking about 1775 and 1776. So building on what you know, uh, if you remember with the French and Indian War, when Britain and France could not agree on control of the Ohio River Valley, they went to war. And the question is, what do you think happened when Britain and the colonists disagreed and could not get along anymore? They're going to move towards war as well. So the main idea is that the conflict between the colonists and Britain led to the battles of Lexington and Concord. In 1775, many colonists felt that the intolerable acts were too harsh. There were more than 3,000 British soldiers in Boston. The British Navy blocked Boston Harbor to keep ships from entering or leaving Boston. Patriots spoke out against the British government. Colonists who opposed British rule called themselves patriots. Mercy Otis Warren was a patriot writer. She wrote plays criticizing British officials in Boston. In Virginia, Patrick Henry, another patriot, said that he was eager for a war with Britain. Many colonists shared his view. Throughout the colonies, militias prepared for war. A militia is a group of ordinary people who train for battle. Most of the men in the militia were farmers. So there's a little graphic source for you. Uh, men in militia, they don't have much training, but they're willing to fight to defend their homes. And that's what the militia is. Again, people supporting the colonists were patriots. Those that supported King George were called loyalists. So moving on, uh, Paul Revere's ride, which we've all heard of Paul Revere. Uh, British leaders were worried about the militias. General Thomas Gage, the new British governor of Massachusetts, had orders to stop any possible rebellion. He learned that the Patriots were storing gunpowder and can cannons in Concord, about 20 miles from Boston. Gage decided to send soldiers to destroy the supplies. The soldiers would march at night to take the Patriots by surprise. General Gage could not keep his plan secret. Patriots in Boston soon knew what was planned. They used lanterns in the tower of Boston's Old North Church to warn patriots outside the city that British soldiers were coming. Two patriots also rode out to warn the militia. One rider was Paul Revere, the silversmith. The other was William Dawes. On the night of April 18, 1775, an army of 700 British soldiers set off for Concord. Revere and Dawes galloped ahead, alerting sleeping Minutemen along the way. Minutemen were militia with special training. They had to be ready for a battle at a minute's notice. Racing through the night, Revere told the Minutemen, the regulars are coming out. Regulars was a word for British soldiers. Other riders, such as Samuel Prescott, helped Revere and Dawes spread the alarm. British soldiers captured Revere in Lexington, but Dawes and Prescott escaped. Prescott rode on to Concord. The soldiers later released Revere. So let's take a quick look at this map that kind of shows exactly what happened here. Here we go. So this is shows the routes taken by Paul Revere and other patriots to sound the alarm in Lexington and Concord. So if you look at our legend here, the yellow, the solid yellow is the route that Revere took. So leaving Boston at the Old North Church, Revere would have headed up through, across the bridge over Charlestown, all the way up along the Mystic River. And then you'll see just west of Lexington, Revere will have been caught. All right. Now, leaving there, going from there, you see Prescott is where Prescott continued on. Now, the purple solid line is the route of Dawes. So Dawes left, and he went directly west, whereas Revere sort of went northwest. So Dawes headed out, and he went all the way around and up through here. Now, the red is the route of the British. So the British are heading and they're going to get in their boats, cross the Charles River, and then continue marching on to Concord. All right. You can see that in the red are the British soldiers and in the blue are the Patriot Militia. So what you're going to do next is there is an Ed Puzzle that goes along with Paul Revere's ride. Um, just to kind of go a little bit further into detail with that.